All right, so I'm just going to do a quick little walkthrough of a day shooting college football. Uh, first of all, I apologize for the shakiness of this time lapse video here. Uh, it'll be over pretty soon and it gets much better. I didn't realize how shaky this was going to be, but it is what it is. So this is the walk into the stadium from parking. And the first thing we have to do is we have to go up. And in this case, we have to go to the will call here and get an armband. It's a photography armband, and I'll get into that later. Uh, so this is the security checkpoint for the media. Basically, we just have to open up our bags, have the security guy there, check them, walk through a metal detector, similar to like a uh, TSA at like an airport or something like that. So we're inside the stadium. We went through the security checkpoint. And I have to walk basically here at Indiana. We have to walk all the way around to the other side of the stadium uh, for the entry into the photographer's room. Um, so we go in those doors there, down the elevator, and then it's just right around the corner, and we are in the photographer room right there. So here's my spot. Um, I got there fairly early, about three hours before game time, so pretty much all the spots were available. You'll see here in a second uh, that there are a couple spots that right down there taken, um, but I kind of like being up at the top, out of the way of everybody. I have room uh, to put all my gear to put my cases and that kind of thing and not worry about it being in somebody's way. Um, there's like the food and the water. It was a, it was a super hot day, especially for, um, the middle of September, um, here or late September, I guess here in Indiana. Uh, so that water went through pretty quickly. So those were some of the other rooms. Um, the Ohio state game that we, that I shot there at Indiana uh, at the very beginning of the year to kick off the season. Um, we had to, the, the, it was an overflow into those other rooms because there were so many photographers there. Uh, but for this game, um, against Georgia Southern, there weren't nearly as many photographers, so everybody just fit in that one room. So that was just a quick little time lapse of getting out all my equipment, getting it all set up and ready to go. And now I'm walking out to the stadium to shoot some of the uh, warm-ups of the players. And uh, intermittently through here, whenever I have a, a picture that I liked, um, that was also recorded on video, I will stop the video right at the point where I took the photo and show that as well. So that's what we're doing here. The warm-ups are pretty much over. They're running the band onto the field. Right there's the entryway for uh, where the uh, Indiana players are gonna come out. So I like sitting up next to, right next to um, the end of like the little fence, the barricade there, uh, cause the players will run right by you. It has a cool place to get some shots of uh, the players kind of pumped up, running on the field. Um, as you'll see in a second, they're like holding flags and holding all kinds of different things. You get a, the, the, the captains and the main players, the better players are normally in the front. So it's a great opportunity to get those photos. The coach will be there. You'll see all that in a second. So the entries of the players are always a great opportunity to, to get some really cool and unique shots. As you can see on the other side, there's more photographers lined up there. And it goes probably four or five deep. Um, there's a couple photographers there for Indiana, um, right? In, or behind in front of just depending on how you look at it of the goalposts those create some really cool shots as well whenever the players just kind of flood past you um, you'll be looking at them they will be looking at them straight on as opposed to where I'm at they're kind of at a little bit of an angle um, we had to wait there for a really long time actually the refs who you just saw walk out earlier came up from behind me and were getting ready to go um, down into the locker room to see where the players were at because they were running late. I think it was supposed to be a 3.30 kickoff and the they were running out about right here is about the 3.33 mark or something like that. So they were running a little bit behind. So there you see I switched up. So I'm running, I'm using my 14 to 24 normally. You just saw that's what I'm using um, here with these shots and you just saw me pick up my 7200 to get some kind of closer headshot stuff of the coach. So you see number eight there leading the way. He's Tigre Scales, one of the better linebackers um, in college football. Kind of leading the way and leading the pack out. So then you just snap away and uh, kind of a more of a praying and spraying kind of situation. Um, you're just shooting away and hopefully, hopefully you get something good. So we fast forward here a little bit to the beginning of the game. Um, there's already been a kickoff. This is, I think, like the opening play or maybe the second play of the game. You see... The, the Indiana players stripped the ball there from the, from the Georgia Southern running back. So here you'll see I'm using a 300 millimeter 2.8. I'm not shooting at 2.8, I think I'm about four or so. 
you just see so you have a little bit more depth of field. Um, you can see on the sidelines it's pretty crowded. Normally I like to, I don't know what that was, a bird or something. Uh, normally I like to kneel down whenever I can um, and get low. Uh, but I can't it's hard to do that on the sidelines because there's so many people normally I do that in the end zone So here at Indiana, so I have to walk to the other side here at Indiana We're not allowed to walk behind the team benches because it's so tight. So we actually have to go up um, Up here kind of like into the stands a little bit just kind of the the path in front of the stands so you'll see uh, the stands there for all the fans are there then you can see on the left where the um, where the team is on the sideline there's really no room to walk back behind like you do at a, a lot of stadiums we have to just walk up in front of the fans uh, we're not allowed to stop and shoot they make that pretty clear um, so it's not too big of a deal uh, I kind of feel bad walking in front of the fans all the time because as you know if you've shot football you have to go back and forth pretty quick whenever they move the field whenever they move the ball up and down the field pretty quickly so you're walking uh, in front of these fans quite often so I kind of feel bad about that but I mean, it is what it is. So now I'm on the other sideline. I like to stay, we have to stay between the 25 yard line uh, into the end zone on both sides. So we're not allowed to go. So here you'll see just real quick side. So whenever they get too close to me there with the 300, uh, you didn't see it, but I pulled my 7200. I'm using my Black Rapid strap. So I pulled my 7200, which is on uh, another camera on my right side and you just again kind of they're coming at you so fast it's kind of a spring and praying situation um, you're just shooting and and hope you get it so there was a touchdown um, I, I shot with the 300 there uh, where he reached across the goal line you can kind of hear in the background here that uh, they didn't know for sure if it was going to be they didn't rule it a, a touchdown at first but eventually they do rule it a touchdown and um, and it was a score So the first half is over and this is a quick little time lapse going back into the photographer's room where you go at halftime and here are a couple shots uh, that I took during the first half. During halftime it's mainly just to upload the photos, try to get a few quick edits out and send in to the agency that way they can send them out and start selling the photos um, so that uh, different organ news organizations want the photos as quickly as possible so if they're sent at halftime and looked over um then uh th then they're a lot easier to sell so those were a couple of the photos from the first half the last photo was lily king an olympic swimmer she goes to indiana um she was being celebrated there at halftime or not at halftime it was a stoppage in play in the first half um i believe it was the first half for um be becoming a uh, women's big 10 athlete of the year i believe is what it was so here's a, I don't know if this is between quarters or what this is. Um, I don't think it's after halftime. I think it's maybe between quarters or some type of stopping the play. Um, the cheerleaders come out and cheerleaders are awesome to shoot. Those photos sell really well. Um, it creates some really cool photos sometimes with their hair flopping around and they're doing all kinds of crazy acrobatic things in the air and get the flags and it's it, the anytime you can shoot cheerleaders go ahead and do it um, because they they create some awesome shots it's not all about just game action you saw a couple of those photos from halftime that I showed were of fans as well anytime a touchdown happens especially if it's on the opposite end of the field or if it's not near you to where you can't get the player reaction I always turn my camera to the stands or the cheerleaders to try to get some celebration reactions um, so like I said it's not all about the players and the and the play on the field it's about everything that's happening around you as well that make it um, that make the sport what it is All right, now this is at the end of the game. Most of the fans, as you can see, have left the stadium. And a, a cornerback there, number 14, is looking at me. And it's always great when a player makes eye contact with you, especially when this happens. So on the very same play, just as he was making eye contact with me, uh, you'll see here the quarterback will drop back in a second. Uh, here it is. And I shoot a couple of him. And he throws right to his side. Keep shooting. There he is. And he strips the ball from the receiver there, as you can see. I was going to put the camera down and he runs it in for a touchdown and there he is scoring a touchdown which I think was kind of a cool uh, little series of events being able to get those back to back to back like that. So I already went ahead and fast forwarded quite a bit. I've edited the photos and I've sent them in. I still have a lot more editing to do whenever I get home and back to the office but for now I'm calling it a night there at the stadium. 
On my next video, tell me what you want to see. Um, I'll be shooting college football again several more times this year, so tell me what you want to see, and I'll try to include that in the next video. As always, be sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching.